call to order the June December seventh meeting of the Jacksonville Youth Council. Um, we will now proceed to the Pledge of Allegiance led by Vice Chairman Seth Rootlinger, preceded by the invocation led by Carolyn Marks. If you would please stand. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your heads. <coughs> Dear Lord, thank you for safely bringing us here tonight. Please continue to bless us each and every day and watch over us all in your name. Amen. Amen. I'd like to welcome all of you to this meeting. Um, it's going to be an exciting new start to the 2018 year. Um, I'm Adej Bono-Jabobo, and I serve as the chairman of the Jacksonville Youth Council. I am Seth Rollinger. I attend White Oak High School, and I am vice chairman. I'm Taylor Rudder, and I am the White Oak High School seat. I'm Carolyn Marks, and I'm the Jacksonville High School seat. I'm Janelle Levy, and I'm the Richland at large seat. We're we'll now proceed to Old Business with Taylor Rudder. On November 18th, the Jacksonville Youth Council attended the Holiday Parade. We had the opportunity to join the City of Jacksonville in the Holiday Parade. We walked along with the Transportation and Re Recreation Departments. It was extremely fun as the City Manager, Dr. Woodruff, joined the parade as well and kept everyone organized. I would like to thank the, the following for coming out. Zan Sawyer, Aaron Wood, Adejuan Ojibobo, Janae Adolphus, Cameron Davis, Colin Davis, An Anubia Gertrell, Kishan Henry, Jasmine Hernandez, Kai Irizari, Shamar Moore, Tia Northern, Angel Padilla, Brianna Ryan, Joseph Speranza, uh, Tamara Tamer Waters, Denia Vasquez, Eli, Eli Whitney, Brooke Gruber, Seth Rutlinger, and Taylor Rudder. Now we'll discuss the city council meeting. Brooke Gruber and I spoke at the city council on November 1st, 2017. This was an opportunity for us to present before the youth count for the council, city council and those in attendance the events that the Youth Council has participated in and uh, gave us um, op an opportunity to explain what we're going to do in the future, like our um, Youth Summit that will be held February 17th. Next is New Business with Taylor Rudder. Christmas cheer. Thank you to everyone that has brought a toy in for Christmas cheer. On behalf of Onslow County Community Outreach, we thank you tremendously. For those who signed up to volunteer on Christmas Cheer Youth Day, your permission slips are due to Ms. Pamela no later than December 13th. You may drop off, scan, email, fax, or mail the permission form back. All volunteers will need to create an account on volunteeronslow.org to sign in and receive credit for volunteering. Um, now I'll proceed to Sturgeon City. Sturgeon City needs your help on December 15th, 16th, and the 20th. They're seeking volunteers to help with gift, wrap, gift wrapping in Barnes & Noble. Um, this is a fundraiser for Sturgeon City, and all the tips raised um, will go to this great cause. Um, Sign-up sheets are available tonight. There are two shifts um, each day from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. each night. Um, once you have signed up, Ms. Farnell from Sturgeon City will contact you about the shifts. Next, I will discuss Harmony. Our next meeting is December 14th, where we will finalize our 2018 Harmony grant application, which will be value available December 15th. This year, we have $3,000 in, um, $3, in our disposal to give to youth organizations, and we are focusing on giving back to um, Oslo County. Now for election. Tonight we are voting for our new officers. Each person whose name is on the ballot has met the minimum requirements of having an updated Jacksonville Youth Council application, an executive officer application, and a teacher recommendation form submitted on their behalf. Each person will have the opportunity to present a campaign speech of one to two minutes before the membership. It is not required, but an opportunity is given. Once the campaign speeches are concluded, we will vote for chairman and recorder first, as those positions will set the precedence for vice chairman and secretary. Council Chairman, conducts the meetings, sets the agenda, and rules on absences, procedures, and actions of the Youth Council. In order to be eligible, the person must have been an active member of the Youth Council for the year previous to their service as Chairman. Adejwan Ojibobo, are you still running? 
Absolutely. Would you like to campaign? Yes, ma'am. How many of you love Jacksonville? Don't raise your hand. You, why do you love Jacksonville? Because I live here. That's a good point. Um, raise your hands again. Why do you love Jacksonville? Why do you love Jacksonville? You don't know? You, oh, oh. Why do you love Jacksonville? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to you. Um, so. What is your favorite thing about Jacksonville? Food. Food? What's your favorite thing about Jacksonville? Scenery. Scenery. What's your favorite thing about Jacksonville? Sense of community. The sense of community we have. I like that. I want you to be honest with me. How many of you hate Jacksonville? Why? Not what you invite. It could be better. Okay, how many of you don't completely love Jacksonville? Let me rephrase that. You go ahead. Mm -hmm. What is your least favorite thing about Jacksonville? Yeah, same here. The environment. The environment. Anyone else? What's your least favorite thing about Jacksonville? Nothing to do. What's your least favorite thing? One last time. What's your least favorite thing about Jacksonville? Lack of education. Vegetation? Oh, I mean, that's a good point, too. Um, how many of you agree with the stipulation that Jacksonville has a lot of room to improve? What problems do you see in Jacksonville? I want you to interact with me. This is how change happens. Okay. Um, that's two minutes. Two minutes? That's two minutes already? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to close this out, but <laughs> I just wanted to convey to you all, I have a speech written, I was just going to like finish off with this like very articulate speech that I wrote earlier, but I'm just going to wing it right now, and I'm just going to convey to you all that change happens when we interact, and I know the Youth Council, we've been tasked to represent the youth throughout Onslow County directly to city leadership. So in light of this, we as a youth council must have civil interaction, um, simplistic communication that we're having right now. That is how we're going to create change in Jacksonville. And hopefully all the things that we discussed that we hate about Jacksonville, we can change that and we can work towards that. All the things that we discussed that we love about Jacksonville, we can improve on that. And as chairman of the Jacksonville City Youth Council, I vow to you all, I will continue my best to lead this council and to create change as much as possible in this community. So hopefully you take that into account when you vote for chairman, and thank you. Brooke Gruber. I would like to drop my nominations for all positions except chairman due to my passion and motivation to serve as chairman of the Jacksonville Youth Council. Bonjour everyone, this is Brooke Gruber and I'm coming to you live from Quebec City, Canada. Right now I'm on the St. Lawrence River and I'm here today for a family wedding and I'm so sorry that I cannot attend, but I wanted to remind everyone that I'm running for chairman and I would appreciate everyone's vote today. And I've had prior experience serving on the Board of Secretary and I've had an amazing year. And though I'm a senior, I would just like to keep going with the Youth Council and keep inspiring people to be leaders and enjoy their time here. But before I go today, I want us to leave you with a leadership quote from Francis Hesselbein. Leadership is not a matter of how to be, but how to do. And I hope everyone has an awesome election day. Merci beaucoup.
Council Vice Chairman. Elected to assist the Council Chairman, serve in his or her absence, the Chairman and the Vice Chairman cannot be from the same school. Is Samuel Young here? Seth Rutlinger, would you still like to campaign? Yes. <laughs> Hello, I am Seth Rollinger and I am a junior at White Oak High School. I had started attending Jacksonville Youth Council my freshman year, and by my sophomore year, I ran for this position that I currently hold and was elected for. And this year, I wish to run again and um, uphold my position as vice chairman. And I have, um, throughout my years, I've had a lot of experience with different things. I have talked to the mayor, I have talked to uh, congressmen, and I have a lot of experience with different stuff that we have done. So this year, I hope to continue serving for you guys and all other youth in our community. So I hope that you all vote for me. Thank you. Council Recorder. Elected to record the proceedings of the Youth Council, to prepare official documents detailing the actions of the Youth Council and to preserve those documents. The secretary and the recorder cannot be from the same school. Naya Thompson, her speech is going to be presented to us by Ms. Pamela Tafton. Trafton. Good evening. I, Naya Thompson, believe you should vote for me because not only do I believe in support in my community, but I do believe in each and every one of us. We are the bright future that will carry on Jacksonville. Together, we all will face new beginnings and challenges head on to better our city and the community that resides in it. By voting for Naya, I will represent each and every one of you with the best of my abilities. I will be excited to work with the new and old faces that are here tonight, as I know everyone has great things in store for next year. I've enjoyed my year with being on the Jacksonville Youth Council, and I will hope to continue the path of a better, prosperous, and safer city with you guys by my side. Thank you. Megan Houchins. Council Secretary. Elected to make, hold, and send official correspondence of the Youth Council. The Council Secretary is responsible for recording the attendance of each member of the Youth Council. The Council Secretary organizes efforts to notify Youth Council members of the meetings, sessions, sessions and activities of the council and its committees. The secretary and the recorder cannot be from the same school. Is Alexis Neal here? Okay. Katie Becker, would you like to campaign still? Yes, All right. um, being on this board means to be a leader in your community, which I have a lot of experience, whether being captain of my softball team or leading in our school. Uh, I would like to be on this board to show that I can be part of something that's bigger than myself and outreach in the community and help people. So I hope you vote for me. Thanks. Naya Thompson is also running. Executive committee members, school representatives. Seats on the executive committee are reserved for the following schools who attendance zones are substantially within the city of Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Northside, White Oak, Lejeune, and Southwest. School representatives are only elected if substantial members of each school participate regularly. If a school does not meet the criteria, then the, then the school representative sheets seat shall be declared an at-large seat, and any member of any other school not listed above can be elected to that seat. So for Lejeune High School, Jania Adolphus, do you wish to campaign? Uh, my name is Jania Adolphus, and I'm a sophomore at uh, Lejeune High School. 
And I would like to be chosen for this position because like no one else from my school um, is in the council except for me. So I think it would be like a really good opportunity to get my school involved more with the community of Jacksonville and for them to be involved with the youth council. So like at my school, sometimes we could like um, at lunch, I could set up tables and I could explain to them like what the youth council is and like the things that we achieve and like once we start like participating with the actual youth council, it is a lot of fun and it's like really easy to make friends. So I think it would be a good way to get them, um, like I said, more involved and for them to join the youth council in the meetings that we do have and for them or for them to think about joining it next year. Jacksonville High School. Carter Askins, Matthew Russell, Naya Thompson, Victoria Gonzalez, would you still like to campaign? Um, I'm Victoria Gonzalez. I'm running for the Jacksonville High School position seat. Um, I obviously attend Jacksonville High School. Um, I would like to join the board because I feel like this council needs something to become more communicative and we all need to be more involved with each other and we need better communication skills. And I feel like it needs to be a more interactive environment for everyone. Um, everyone needs to be comfortable to talk to each other about ideas to make the community better. And I think that if we become that close to each other and we have that sense of closeness, I guess, or togetherness that we can achieve that and make Jacksonville a better place and the place that it could be. So I hope you run for, I mean, vote for me. Can you give your speech, make sure that you talk into the mic. You can like adjust it with your hand, so yeah. Katie Becker is also running for the Jacksonville High School seat. Okay. White Oak, Angel Padilla, Executive Committee members, at-large representatives. One to five persons are elected from the general membership of the Youth Council to sit with the other elected leaders. No more than three of the at-large representatives, including any created by the absence of attendance of a school representative executive committee member shall be seniors. No more than two of the at-large representatives shall be from the same school. Onslow Early College. Tamara Waters, do you still wish to campaign? Um, hi, I'm Tamara Waters, and um, I would like to be on this board because I would like to help better Jacksonville and better the youth and better the community. And I feel that together we can all help make the community better and make all the schools more involved in the community and help each other to do better in school and outside of school. Thank you. Colin Davis, do you still wish to campaign? Yes. Hi, my name is Colin Davis. I'm a freshman at Onslow Early College, and this is our first year of becoming a school, so we're not really involved in that much outside of only our school. So my main focus is to not only better the city of Jacksonville, but mainly to support my school and to incorporate them more with everything else that's happening in Jacksonville, because there's several kids at our school that aren't doing things. And I'd like to increase the numbers of kids in our school so that they can all get involved also, because we're all destined to do greater things after leaving high school. And I feel like they should all get that opportunity and they should all be able to come to youth council. Thank you. Swansboro High School. Jordan Hackins. Do you still wish to campaign? Um, 
Hi, my name is Jordan Hankins. I go to Swansboro High School. I am currently a junior senior, so hopefully I'll be graduating in June. Um, I would like to be on the board because Swansboro is really far away and like not a lot of people consider us like the main part of Jacksonville, so they don't really cons like include us in anything. And um, I would like to like help like everyone see that Swansboro is not just kind of out on the outskirts. Thank you. Living Water Christian School, Megan Houchins. Thank you candidates for your campaign speech. Everyone did a great job monitoring their time and presenting a compelling argument why you should vote for them. In the case that Adejwan wins chairman, Samuel is el eliminated from vice chairman and Seth becomes vice chairman. Samuel can now run for recorder and Jacksonville school representative. If Brooke wins chairman, the vice chairman position becomes a true election. Adejwan can become nominated for a different position if he chooses. If a Jacksonville high school candidate wins recorder, that will eliminate all Jacksonville high school candidates for secretary. Now it, is time for, now it is time to vote for the chairman and recorder. You have received your ballot if you met the requirement to vote, which is to have attended at least two Jacksonville Youth Council meetings and or events this year. If you have met this requirement, you receive your ballot upon arrival. If you meet this requirement but did not receive your ballot, we will pause for you to receive your ballot accordingly from Ms. Pamela. Is there anyone who did not re receive a ballot? Has everyone received their ballot? At this moment, cast your votes for chairman and recorder only. Once you have voted, bring your form to Ms. Pamela so that she may start tallying the results accordingly. First, do I break first? Or do, I, do, I, do I break first? Do you want me to break first? Do you want me to break? Recess. Um, can the first row of okay, we'll go first. Then. Um, so you guys just go there and bring your ballots. So right now we're voting for chairman and vice chairman. So basically, what what will happen is chairman and recorder. Never mind. Um, what will happen is um, I'll tell each row to get up, and then you come to Miss Pam's desk, and then. So tally the votes and then she'll give your ballot back to you because that's going to determine some of the other slots that need to be chosen for. So, yeah. Um, 
In the first row, stand up and then come to this desk. Single file line. Yeah. We're not animals. Everyone voted. No, okay. Second row, stand up. It's this way. I forgot that I was supposed to do that. If you haven't voted, um, go ahead and line up. If you haven't voted, go ahead and line up. So, yeah. Who hasn't voted? Who has not voted? No one? Okay. If you guys could please lower your voices so we can communicate information to you, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Anyone left who has not voted?
Um, we will now proceed back into session with Carolyn Marks. Congratulations to Adejuan Ojibobo as our 2018 chairperson and to Naya Thompson as our 2018 recorder. With our new officers, your ballot will reflect the following changes for an accurate vote. We've already been over the scenarios, so. Can you re-announce them? Sure. Okay. So Samuel is eliminated from vice chairman and Seth becomes vice chairman. Samuel can now run for recorder and Jacksonville school representative. Because the Jacksonville High School candidate won the recorder seat, everyone else will be eliminated and we have to do elections for secretary. Are we doing that now? Um, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. So we will now accept nominations for the position of secretary. And you cannot be from Jacksonville High School. I know that's most of you, but <laughs> come on. I know someone from White Oak, Northside, you have passion for this community. You ha it's a lot of commitment, but I feel like you can gain a lot from this experience. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so we are now accepting nominations for the position of secretary. You cannot be from Jacksonville High School. So if you go to White Oak Northside, any other school besides Jacksonville High School, you can run, you can be nominated for the secretary right now. So is there anyone from any other school who's interested in serving your community as secretary of the Jacksonville City Youth Council? Um, what's your name? Um, I would like to nominate Jordan Jackson for the position of secretary. Who else? What school? What school? Northside High School. Who else? Anyone else? Um, okay, you're nominating Keyshawn Henry for the position of secretary. What school? Uh, Onslaught Early, Early College High School. Um, so, yes. Um, so Tamara Waters, what school? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyone else? I'd like to nominate Kai Arazari, uh, attending Wild Oak High School. Any more nominations? Okay, nominations are closed for the position of secretary. Um, Um, so those of you who are nominated, you need to get a teacher recommendation and you need to fill an application. And from there, we will vote in January for that position. Um, for the Northside High School seat, we are now accepting, uh, nominations for the secretary are closed. For the Northside High School seat, we are accepting nominations. So if you attend Northside High School, please step forward if you wanna serve on this council. Who attends Northside High School? Okay, do you want to serve? Do you want to serve? I'm sorry, do you want to serve? I don't want to first be sure. So um, I nominate Jordan Jackson for the position of Northside High School seat. I said Jackson. Um, so nominations for that seat are closed. So we will now conclude the ballot. Um, we, will, we will now conclude the ballot based off the changes you have made to your ballot. Uh, once you have completed the ballots, turn, in, turn it into Ms. Pamela for calculations. Um, and we will announce the final results. So just the first row, again, can you stand up, submit Madam your Madam, ballot? They're voting for their school only. Yeah, they're voting for your school only and for... Um, 
the rest of the positions that are not specific schools. So first row, can you go ahead and submit your ballot? And I just want to remind you that we are still in session. And we will now proceed to, I just want to remind you that we are, we are still in session. So may you please lower your voices as you wait to vote. I'm just going to wait. You can go ahead and submit your ballots. Anyone else that has not voted, go ahead and vote. Okay, um, 
Um, welcome back. We're now Carolyn Marks. Carolyn Marks. So I'm going to now announce our new officers. Congratulations to our 2018 chairman, Adejwan Ojibobo. Congratulations to our new vice chairman, Seth Rutlinger. Congratulations to our new recorder, Naya Thompson. Congratulations to our Onslow Early College High School representative, Tamara Waters. Congratulations to our Jacksonville High School seat, Victoria Gonzalez. Yeah, you all the sports. <laughs> Another congratulations to our Swansboro High School seat, Jordan Hakins. And from Living Water Christian Academy, Megan Houchins. Oh, my bad. Sorry. For our White Oak High School seat, Angel Padilla. <laughs> A final congratulations to Lejeune High School, Jania Adolphus. Um, we're now proceed to public comments and announcements. Also, I want to remind you all that for uh, we will vote for secretary and Northside High School seat in January. Um, so the Jackson Youth Council, in addition, will have a Christmas social December 20th at the Youth Center from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, we ask that you bring your own food, drinks. It's gonna have, we're going to have a fun time. It's just going to be youth council. Invite your friends. It's not only youth council members that are welcome. So please come out to that. That is December 20th, 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Youth Center, which is across the street, not at City Hall. Um, seniors in attendance, also seniors in attendance, please see Miss Pam after the meeting for our Youth Citizen Academy on January 23rd, 2018. Um, also, we will be having our May Mayor Youth Leadership Summit on February 17th, 2018. For those of you who are part of the Youth Council in 2016, we had a Youth Summit. So it's going to be similar to that, but it's going to be a lot of new things. We have a lot of exciting things planned for this summit, so please come out to that. But that's not until February 17th, 2018. This event is open to Onslow County 8th graders to, and area high school students. So you can register now at jacksonnc.gov slash youth summit. So please do that in advance. Spots will fill up quickly. And... Um, so right now, the floor is open to any public comments, anything that's going on in your life, going on at school, any events that um, you want to let us know about, any new things that are going on in the community that you just want to talk about. So just give you a minute if anyone has anything to say. Any of the officers want to say? 
any of the officers want to say any any remarks anything new officers welcome congratulations do you want to say anything that just to thank the council i guess thank your voters nothing okay um we will proceed to the closing thank you all for coming thank you for voting thank you for being a part of your community please remember these important dates um write it in your phone put it in your brain write it in your room on your wall and just remember that these dates are important they are coming up soon so and now this meeting is adjourned thank you everyone